Alright guys, Unite the Clans here, back in your life with a brand new episode of Drinking by Myself. This is the edition for uh, Saturday, May 9th, weather starting to get nice here in uh, the frozen north that is Canada. Uh, this is episode number four of this vlog. Uh, the vlog is about life, uh, video games, YouTube, and uh, my life playing video games on YouTube, more or less. Uh, and kind of excited to be uh, a few episodes into this thing. Uh, this vlog, my channel is mostly a gaming channel, uh, but this vlog is a bit of a departure. Uh, it is kind of designed for, for gamers, uh, for other content creators. Uh, I know I talk about a lot of the, the kind of stumbling blocks and uh, that I, I ran into uh, in my first few months so far as a YouTuber. Uh, and then uh, I also talk uh, about kind of tips and, and tricks and things I've learned uh, in my very short journey so far as a uh, as a YouTuber. Um, also for gamers, uh, we cover uh, tons of video game stuff. I will likely talk some video game news in these uh, episodes and things like that. And for fans of the channel, people who are loving the content I'm putting out and would love to get to know me uh, a little better too. And by the way, I would love to get to know you guys too. So hit me up in the comments. Let's talk. Let's get a little back and forth going. Um, just so you guys know, I thought I'd mention the schedule for these. These episodes of Drinking by Myself, which I'll get to my drink in a second, uh, are coming out bi-weekly as it stands right now. We got them scheduled for Saturdays and they're coming out the weeks where I'm not doing a Minecraft Seed Spotlight. Seed Spotlights tend to come out on Wednesdays and then the alternating week we'll have, uh, Drinking by Myself episodes on Saturdays. Now, speaking of seed spotlights, my beverage today was actually, uh, the purchase was inspired by a seed spotlight. So that is that Sparkhouse, uh, red ale. Uh, I showed it off in, uh, the seed spotlight for the bluffs, uh, cause we actually built a tower inspired by, uh, Firewatch. Again, co covering video games, we're covering content creation, we're also covering drinking. Um, but yeah, so I picked up this beer, it's actually quite delicious, and I figured I would uh, I would have one for this episode. Seems only fitting as you got that uh, that seed spotlight uh, last week on Wednesday. So wanted to mention last Wednesday we hit you up with the bluffs. This week is a drinking by myself vlog week. Next week you will get another seed spotlight. It is for Ocean's Gate, which is an amazing like savannah mountain island biome uh, with this massive rock structure that looks more or less like a gate opening up into miles and miles of oceans. Uh, it is a very cool looking seed and it actually seems to be the coolest. It is winning the poll as we speak right now. Uh, my Minecraft Let's Play, I'm leaving the, the, uh, the seed up to you guys. So we started with episode zero, covered five very cool seeds, and now I'm doing individual seed spotlights with creative builds for each while we rack up some votes in the poll. Uh, and then when I'm done, all the seed spotlights starting at the very beginning of June, so, you know, uh, three weeks or so from now, a little less than that, we will be diving into a Minecraft Let's Play, hopefully, hashtag daily Minecraft. Uh, so that is my game plan. The beer is actually quite, quite good. It's got some nice malt, a little bit of hops, and pretty refreshing, uh, nice and cold. It's not too heavy. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the brewery. I don't know what kind of stuff they do, but... You know, this is like, uh, I can see people who don't normally drink craft beers getting into this one. So I know I mentioned I like to have some content for gamers, because my channel is a gaming channel. I imagine most of you who watch it would consider yourself gamers. I wanted to talk about, if you were a, a PlayStation guy, and you're thinking about getting into PC gaming, and you're not sure where to go next, that, that can be a challenge, because the switch from mouse to keyboard to controller, or vice versa, that's a big change. So I want to talk about an app I found called uh, Input Mapper. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I plug it, my PS4 controller in with USB to my computer hookup. Input Mapper sets everything up, makes the computer think I'm playing with a 360 controller, which is super easy to hook up to a PC, because Microsoft Windows, you know, Microsoft Xbox... Uh, this makes it easier. Now, the only problem is, instead of, you know, red circle, pink square, blue X, green triangle, you're going to get the red, yellow, blue, green buttons of Xbox, whatever they are, A, B, X, Y. I've never been much of an Xbox guy. Uh, just got into PlayStation and kind of stuck with it. Uh, but honestly, I haven't turned the, the thing sitting right there. I have not turned it on, basically, since I started the YouTube channel. Uh, so I've kind of forgotten about it. But 
really nice to be able to use a controller. If you guys buy games on Steam, they'll let you know which ones are built uh, to use controllers with and things like that. Uh, I found Input Mapper ridiculously easy to do. I'm going to uh, throw you a link to that in, uh, in the uh, description just so you guys can check it out yourself. And then every week of this, this vlog, I tend to cover a topic, and it's usually something that relates to content creators uh, like me, like I'm striving to be. And for this one, I wanted to talk about your mindset when it comes to making your videos. Because when I first started, I was thinking high quality. Spent a lot of time editing, you know, cool uh, After Effects intros and graphics and transitions. Uh, you know, smooth music fade-ins, fades out, cool montages, coming up next or in the next episode. All that kind of nonsense is what I was thinking. Um, and that can really bog you down. You can get really slowed down. I know I did my first uh, seed spotlight that I mean that took me two weeks and I, I, I was sick around then but I basically took a week off from putting videos out on the channel which is, is brutal if you're a new channel you don't want people to think that you're quitting you want to keep a steady pace up uh, and so that was really getting to me I had such like a, a high quality it might not have been the seed spotlight it might have just been episode zero Oh, actually, I'm sure both of them messed me up a little. Both of them, I spent way too much time editing and tweaking and uh, redoing and, and all that kind of stuff. So what I kind of wanted to talk about my channel uh, on a scale that goes from like, you know, daily morning radio to HBO. And you're somewhere in the middle. With HBO, you're getting like movie-like quality, uh, you know, 10 episode series uh, that that then have two and three year gaps or two year gaps like if you're into uh game of thrones the wait between seasons can be long same with uh, sherlock on bbc super high quality uh, the stories are amazing the acting it, it's a great show but i mean season three was for freaking ever ago and season four isn't even out till 2016 so it's like there's a line where you don't want to be the guy who puts out one video a month on your channel that looks amazing, you worked your ass off on it, but still one video a month. And then really, I mean, you don't need to put out four or five super low quality videos a day. So there's somewhere a line in between. And I was really edging myself towards that HBO end of the scale. And now I'm starting to think more about the morning radio end of the scale. Because with HBO, I mean, you got people buying DVDs, you have, um, you know, potential movies you want to make from the thing. So you have to keep this level of quality up because people go back and they... They don't do that with like morning radio or anything like that. Morning radio is just kind of like you come in, you do your job, you put your content out, and you go home. Now that's too far down one end of the scale because for YouTube videos, you know, nobody goes back and listens to morning radio episodes from months or years earlier. People will go back in your YouTube and watch your old series, watch your old Let's Plays. So there is a line. But I guess what I wanted to say is don't get bogged down in trying to have the flashiest stuff like this only going to be in 720p because right now I don't have ca a camera. I could really slow myself down, refuse to record drinking by myself episodes, which reminds me to have a drink. Refuse to do that until I get a camera that can do 1080p uh, instead of this iPhone that I'm using right now. But, I mean, that you're missing an opportunity to, to reach, uh, reach new people. You know, I'm not in love with this vlog. I wish that camera was better. I wish maybe I had a separate mic, one that I didn't have to have, you know, hanging over my shoulder here. Uh, and I wish that I had, you know, lighting set up and maybe a backdrop. You know, I could really make this thing look good. And in the future, I plan to, but don't don't get bogged down in the details. This is actually going back to the first drinking by myself. I guess what I wanted to say, guys, is is find your line. Find where uh, the quality of the video meets the effort you're putting out uh, and find that sweet spot where you're putting in just enough effort to make your stuff look great, but you're not wasting your time that you could be using to, you know, make more content or spend time with your friends and family. You know, you, you need to find the line. And I, I guess that is what I wanted to talk about today. If you guys have any input, I apologize. It's not the most well thought out concept, this sort of radio versus HBO thing. But if you have any thoughts, if you are a content creator, you've got your own YouTube channel, or you're thinking about starting one, Get in the comments. Let's talk because I would love to meet other people who are going through some of the same growing pains that I'm going through uh, with my channel for United Plans. This is called Drinking by Myself, but obviously I'm here with you guys. Feel free to join me for a beverage. Uh, 
And I wanted to say thank you to you guys for watching. Not a lot of gamers are also having vlog uh, kind of content on their channels. So me doing this is a bit of a risk. Uh, let me know if you're digging it. If you're not digging it at all and you'd rather I just replace this with a gaming series, you know, let me know that too. But I wanted to say thank you guys. I'm Unite the Clans. This has been Drinking by Myself with the Sparkhouse Red Ale, talking HBO versus radio, channel quality, ep, you know, content quality, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I will see all of you guys in the very next episode. 